Uh, and thank you for rescheduling. Um, I wanted to give a shout out uh, to New Jersey for all of the solar energy. Um, you have more solar energy than all of New England. We do. You do. And um, I'm kind of envious. And I wonder. Well, come to New Jersey then. We'll take care of you. I wonder, um, as president, will you be able to address that piece? Um, here in New Hampshire, we actually have the utilities fighting from uh, fighting homeowners uh, to put solar panels on and, and fighting against net metering, right. where the power goes back into the uh, into the grid. Yep. And that would prevent a lot of people from putting solar panels up. Sure. And and I suspect that would be very true in other states. I know Maine is also. And as as president, would would you be able to? Do what you did in New Jersey, uh, allow net metering, or, yeah, or I do would something like that? Yeah, I would want to encourage it, because here's why. Um, what I would want to do is encourage each state to do what they think is the best type of alternative energy for them. So for instance, in New Jersey, let's take New Jersey and, and your, your cousin in the next week, the state of Iowa. Let's take New Hampshire out of this for a second, right? <laughs> so in Iowa, as I drive around Iowa, there are wind turbines everywhere. Right, right. You drive through farmland and farmland and farmland in Iowa, and they have farms, I see corn, I see soybeans, and I see wind turbines. They're everywhere. Now, and they're huge. And they make some noise, but you know, they work for Iowa. If we tried to put wind turbines on land in New Jersey, we have the most densely populated state in America, right. 8.9 million people in that little space, there would not only be dead birds, and this woman would tell them, there would be dead people if we put, if we put wind turbines in New Jersey. It would, it would turn that ugly fast. That's why for New Jersey, solar makes great sense. It's much more compact. Mm -hmm. um, and so everybody can use it if you want to. So you drive around my state, you will see solar arrays on former garbage dumps. Man. You will see solar arrays on the roofs of shopping malls. You'll see them on the roofs of parking garages. You'll see them on the roofs of schools. You'll see them on the roofs of homes. Um, and because they're compact and because we've made it affordable for people in a partnership with the private sector, that now our incentives are even going down and solar energy continues to go up because it's affordable to people. Right, right. And I think what I would try to encourage as president is to have each state say, what alternative energy is right for you? For some people it might be biofuels, for some people it might be wind, for some people it might be solar, for some folks it might be hydroelectric. But let's look at all the different options, and I don't want the federal government to pick. Because, man, I don't think the federal government has the first idea of what would work best in New Hampshire. I think the folks in New Hampshire know what works best in New Hampshire. And the folks in New Jersey know what works best for us. So as president, what I would try to do is say to everybody, let's broaden our portfolios, let's give people more options, and let's make it affordable. And net metering is one of the ways that it becomes more affordable. Because if you generate, for those of you who don't know what net metering is, if you have solar panels on your on your home, and if you generate more electricity, more power than you use, you can then sell that energy back into the grid and get money back. And for lots of people, they wind up making money off of having solar panels.